Hello everyone, my name is Marcus and today we'll be doing kind of like a second part of the missile tutorial I did earlier uh, with the aid of Robert. So this time the rocket will launch as in the previous video, but uh, well we could also uh, switch between the player and the rocket, but now I can uh, switch between, between two cameras the rocket has. As you see and do you notice these two arrows uh, below the rocket those two arrows are for controlling it so if I turn you can see they move and if I switch the camera you can see it torque and rotate so let's let's learn how to do it um, first as always is creating a new project I'm going to choose the first person template you can choose uh, with whatever so just with start content because we're going to use the part the particle systems and create I'm going to pause the video in order to go forward in time so now and now so here we are you you'll uh, have something like this but you won't have this folder called imported where, where I have my flying piece of whatever my uh, material and my texture so I'm going to go to by the way excuse my pronunciation because I'm from Spain and well you know so now mm, what I'm going to do is to create my missile so I'm going to choose a pawn and missile I chose a pawn to uh, be able to have cameras. I don't. I'm not sure if uh, with an actor you can add cameras, but just in case I chose a uh, pawn. So now I'm going to add um, static mesh, and I'm going to attach it to the root. I'm going to activate to simulate physics, but, but before that I want to select my flying piece of whatever that's it and if you select this locker here it will scale uniformly like that so now I'm going to select simulate physics and I'm going to go to physical material override I'm going to create a new physical material I'm going to name it missile oops material and it's going to be of type physical material I'm going to open it here and I'm going to set the friction to 0.9 and the restitution to 0.05 so I'm going to save it close these two tabs and now we have a rocket what I'm going to do now is to add the thrusters and um, well organize a little bit the things so if you don't know how to add the thrusters how do they work whatever uh, just come and check our our uh, previous video that ex explains everything much better than I'm going to do now so I'm going to add a uh, thruster and I'm going to call, call it uh, lift thruster I'm going to, to explain it now I'm going to add an arrow to it and I'm going to make it five times bigger and I'm going to rotate the lift thruster by minus 90 degrees and I'm going to control W it and control W the arrow attach it and I'm going to call this one uh, I don't know move thruster I'm going to reset oh no it's okay so I'm going to set the arrow size of the move thruster to 3 for example I'm going to change its its color to blue just for us to for us to see it so now I'm going to add the cameras I'm going to add component spring arm duplicate it pressing ctrl W and I'm going to add two cameras ctrl W again one and another and I'm going to call this camera up camera and the other one down camera like that so I'm going to take the up camera spring arm and I'm going to set it to the top 
to the top of the missile and I'm going to go to below camera and target offset and I'm going to type in the C axis 500 and I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to rotate it minus 80 degrees in the Y axis I'm going to take the other one and rotate it 80 degrees in the Y axis and I'm going to take the other spring arm too and set the C off offset of uh, minus, minus 500 like that so now we have our cameras and our thrusters let's compile and then we're going to make a function now that's called uh, I'm going to call it um, um, rotate rocket it's going to take three inputs the first one is going to be apps maximum of type float I'm going to explain uh, now why is this is this named uh, like this but just bear with me for now I'm going to get another input of type vector called new oops new new rot and I'm going to take another input of type thruster component it's important for it to be a component and I'm going to name it uh, thruster like that okay now what I'm going to do is to take this and multiply it by a float and I'm going to make a variable called sensitivity of type float of course compile and set a default value of minus point point one um, attach it to the multiplying box and uh, well what I'm going to do now is to sum two vectors I'm going to take the relative location and sum them why because we want the thruster to move in the relative location we're not interested in where it is in the world itself we're inter interested in where is it in the relative space relative to the rocket I mean so we want to move it there and I'm going to split this tract and I'm going to strengthen the connection and we're going to split this in order to constrain to clamp the values so we want to clamp float three times control W three times well two times so now we're going to pass these three values like that and now remember the absolute max because now we, I want to multiply it by a float or, a, or an integer because I want to multiply it by minus one negative one so now I have my maximum the positive one and my minimum the negative one so I'm going to attach the negative to the minimum like this and that I'm going to attach the maximum the positive to the maximum like that I know this is a mess but uh, hopefully you understood so now I'm going to make vector and attach these three values into it and strengthen and now I want to say set relative oh, well I have to select this thruster so I'm going to now set relative location like that um, I don't know what to do how to oh, well I'm going to do something I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that and that I'm going to strengthen I like to be as you see well a little bit ordered yeah like that so now I'm going to set relative location to this location I've just calculated and I'm going to compile well now we're going to go to the um, event graph and we're going to make two variables well one variable called player and we want to get a reference to the player um, I'm going to do that by making a variable and setting its type to first person character or uh, whatever character your project ha your project has I, I hope you 
you realized which type it has to be. If you didn't, uh, please comment it and I'll try to help. So now I'm going to eliminate these two blocks. We're not going to need them. I'm going to get set this to I'm going to cast to first person character. If you don't know how casts work or how to use them, uh, which, what to attach to the object, please feel free to watch this video about casts. Um, I, I think it's pretty good and useful. So now we connect this and for the object I want to get a pawn, player pawn that and now I'm going to compile and go to the first person character I'm going to make another variable here called missile of type missile or or whatever you named your missile compile it and now we're going to go to the missile itself get the reference to the player and set missile and now take self-reference, get a self-reference and attach it, attach it, and now we have a reference to the missile. By the way, I love saving and compile always, so I don't have to worry about saving all the time. And now what, what we're going to do is the uh, thrusters activation. So I'm going to go over here zoom in and I'm going to m make the rocket uh, thrusters to activate by pressing Q I'm going to call the function flip-flop it's pretty use useful this function I love this so now I'm I'm going to make a sequence because we have two thrusters so in the first one in the first sequence I'm going to activate the thruster uh, in order to do that, I'm going to take the missile and I'm going to get up lift, lift thruster here and I'm going to set active like that and I'm going to take the other thruster nope, no, 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 I'm going to take the set set a uh, thrust strength and I'm going to set the strength to something like nine 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 for example you don't have to put this number I mean it, it, it depends on on the mass your rocket has doesn't to be doesn't have to be like this but well this number worked for me so that's what I'm using and uh, well that's it for now. I want to do the same, the same thing below, but instead of the lift thruster, I want to I want it to be the get thruster. I, I don't re remember how I named it. Move thruster like that. Put it below. Set active and set strength. root node strengthen it attach it and now we're done just move it up and now we want to deactivate both thrusters uh, below so I'm going to take the missile reference again and get both thrusters by control W to duplicate move it near the missile reference connect both like that and type deactivate connect both to the B and now uh, well that should be it I'm going to command it to comment it uh, just activate deactivate thrusters like that. Now we're going to try it. I'm going to place the, the missile in the map. I'm going to play it. We should be able to see it launch. 
Yeah, like that. Well, uh, I'm going to put the strength a little bit lower. Like this, for example. Well, yeah. And here I'm going to take off a 9 to eliminate a 9. A nine. And now, now much better. So, yeah, we have that. Now, we want to uh, be able to switch between cameras. In order to do that, um, I'm going to make another input. And I'm going to make it E. So, touch input. Nope, 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 nope. Where is it? Input. Um, there you go. No, not here. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. Here it is. Here. So, now when it's pressed, I want to... Hmm. Another flip-flop. And the first time I press it, I want it to be up. So I'm going to activate the top camera. I'm going to take the missile, get top camera. Uh, up camera like that and activate it and uh, now take the down camera and deactivate it that's it So, um, now I'm going to do the opposite. So I want to take this there, like that. If you press Alt and then click on the nodes, they uh, disappear, disconnect. So like that. Oh, I forgot to connect these both. But. Uh, Probably, if you're doing this the same time I, I'm doing it, uh, you will realize you can't see what the cameras see. That's because we didn't activate, we didn't switch between the cameras of the actor, of the player, I'm sorry, and the cameras of the missile. In order to do that, we're going to go to the level blueprint and wait, I'm going to open my reference. And we want a begin play. Begin play. Like that. I'm going to do another cast to first person character. I'm going to take pawn again. Get player pawn. And I'm going to make two variables. One is a missile. And the other one is the rocket. I'm, I'm in the player. And it's going to be of type uh, first person character. As always. Reference. And the other one is going to be of type missile. As always. And I'm going to set here. And I'm going to get missile. And set it to this. Okay. Now I've got my two references, I can play with it with them. When the key X is pressed, I want to flip flop again and I'm going to deactivate the context context sensitive and type set view target with blend and uh, duplicate it and we're just going to mm, t change the input of two things the target and the new view target of both so for the first target uh, target I'm going to get uh, for the second one I'm sorry I'm going to get a uh, player controller like that 
And for the first one, I'm going to take also the player controller, I'm sorry. But for the first one, I'm going to take the missile. And for the second one, I'm going to take the player. So now we should be able to change views. So now if I launch it and press X, you can see, and we can switch cameras, as you can see. So now we're going to make the input for the rocket. I'm going to command this and camera switch. And I'm going to go here, over here, where it says mouse input. I'm going to take that and move it so we have more space make it bigger okay so we have to we have to make a variable uh, I'm going to name it uh, move missile or not of type boolean I'm going to make two by pressing V B two branches two two branches like that so um, if they are not true, if they are false, I want to add controller yaw and controller pitch like it's written by default. And now what I want to use is my missile function, the one we did that was uh, rotate rocket. And I want to add it to the true just duplicate it like that um, okay the thruster is going to be get thruster move thruster this is going to be our target and the absolute maximum is going to be 10 for me you can change it but for me it's going to be 10 and I'm going to split this rod these two rods because for the second one for this first one oops for this first one I'm going to uh, input the the uh, jaw and for the second one I'm going to input the pitch in order to do that for the first one we want to input it in the C and for the second one, we want to input it in the Y. Like that. And now, which condition does the branch obey? The condition is the move missile. But move missile is going to be set by the level blueprint, blueprint in the pressed. So I'm going to take the player and move missile. Oops, not like that. Set move missile. And I'm going to make it here and set it. And now if we compile and play, oops, there's an error. The property associated with, what? ah, because I didn't compile the first person character, I guess. So now if we launch, and now we switch cameras we should be able to control it but we can't oh by the way I'm going to go to missile viewport and select these two arrows and make um, uncheck hidden in game so we can see them if they move so launch switch views uh, switch cameras and we can't move why is that I don't know. That's probably because I have to. Let me check something. Oops, Unreal crashed. Okay, here we have it. Here we have it. So, um, if I launch and then I go back, I can't move. That's because I want to make this not 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 boolean here it is so like that and like that 
yeah I know I know it's a mess but yeah so I think now we've got it yeah see that I can change it I think I did something wrong because it moves up and down and we don't want it let me let me check something okay so what I did was to change the input axi axis turn the jaw I change it to the Y and the pitch I change it to the X and the sensitivity I I think I didn't yeah I wrote it uh, positive so now if we play it and activate the rocket switch cameras go down and we can see it move just perfectly so we can control it perfectly well it's it's a little bit difficult to control but you get it yeah so well just I'm going to add now the the um, um, particle system of the steam for you to see smoke steam here it is for you to see how it's done so I'm going to change it and I'm going to add a custom time dilation of 30 for example make it bigger 10 times bigger well five times bigger and I think we've got it okay so now I'm going to make it uh, not visible and I'm going to go to the first person character and to the activate the activate thrusters and I'm going to add a third pin to this like that and I'm going to get the missile well I'm, I have it here so get particle system like this and I'm going to set visibility no visibility true control W set visibility false and the target like that now should be we should be able to see it yeah I'm going to add another one just well I'm going to change it for the fire for example and see how it does whoa that's beautiful so I hope you liked you enjoyed you learned something new if you have any doubts uh, if something went wrong if you don't, don't if you missed something or whatever just comment it down below and I'll be glad to help so thanks for watching and see you in the next one goodbye